to be among fellow progressives from all over the world. All of us shoulder to shoulder in a common struggle. There are far too many people in our societies uh, who are feeling uh, left out of the success uh, of our economies. If, if you work out from November the 11th until December 31st, women are basically working for free in my country because women earn less than men. Now, I've got two daughters. How is it right that if my uh, children had been born boys, their life chances would be far more superior? This whole idea that you cannot, quote, find the women is insane. When people say that to me, I say, then hire a mediocre woman, you know, because every board is not full of rocket scientists that I've seen. <laughs> so this is just another step in the advancement of modern society to make it safer, more thoughtful, more liberal, and so forth and so on. But we don't yet have a plan as to how to do that in a uniform way, in a way that works globally, that causes us to be able to be successful. How tackling this issue of making the transition to low carbon is a source of prosperity, a source of jobs. It's happening in Quebec, it's happening elsewhere, and it will profoundly transform our lives. And our ability as progressives to bluntly analyze reality, to call for bold changes, to say we will not accept a status quo that simply won't serve the majority of our people, that's what will move us forward. We're making progress to be sure, but the fact is there is not a single country in the world that has achieved gender equity, which means we have yet to see the potential of a truly equitable and feminist world. And wouldn't it be great if the U.S. and Canada did just that and made it their priority? So what we did at uh, Greylock is we decided that as a partnership uh, that we would not rest until we hired a female partner. And we basically listed every single person we considered as possible. And we all went out and started interviewing and recruiting and everything else. And so that was the, you know, in our 52nd year as a firm, we hired the first woman partner. But you just have to make it an organizational priority. Girls want to change the world. 74% of high school girls in America say that when they think about a career, they're not dreaming about billion dollar exits. They're dreaming about how they can solve problems that they're facing in their community. These are the things that we have to focus on if we're going to continue to demonstrate that different perspectives, that multiculturalism, that pluralism, that diversity are a tremendous advantage for any economy, society, country, community, uh, or even company. What unites us as a global community is what will sustain us. E pluribus unum is not simply something that we talk about in the United States, it's something we talk about around the world. Let's practice it. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it does indeed bend toward justice, but it doesn't bend on its own. Let's bend it together. we can and we will show people that better is always possible.